Welcome. Let's explore the construction of this two-story masonry house in South Florida. Here we go. This foundation is on grade, on compacted soil. Steel reinforcing is set to reinforce the slab for the house that's about to be constructed. Concrete is pumped and finished to form the slab. Steel is stubbed up at key locations to help secure the walls and tie in columns. Masonry is placed over steel bars to form filled cells which strengthen walls. Gaps are made to form steel reinforced concrete columns to hold greater loads from above. Precast lintels are used to span some openings, while steel reinforcing is set to form concrete beams in situations where lintels are not sufficient. Plywood is used to form the concrete for the beams and columns. The plywood is removed after the concrete is cured. After inspections are passed, concrete is pumped into the steel-filled masonry cells, columns, and beams to tie the walls together. Steel beams are set to hold floor planks and walls above. This house was designed with a concrete second floor, an upgrade from traditional wood trusses. Hollow core concrete planks are delivered and set by crane. After completion of the floor, a bed of concrete is poured to level and lock everything in place. Concrete stairs are formed and poured, another upgrade from traditional wood construction. The second floor masonry walls are constructed like the first floor. Columns are also formed and poured to finish the second floor design. Prefabricated wood roof trusses are lifted in place. They are secured using straps that were embedded into the concrete. Temporary bridging is installed to hold the trusses until the plywood can be nailed in place to complete the shell. The structure is now ready for roofing, glazing, waterproofing, and interior build-out. Learn more at engineeringplans.com forward slash build.